Boom shakalaka, with April and May being two of the best months for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and this altcoin fractal setting up for explosive growth. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top altcoins today that are insanely undervalued for the next couple of months. And we're going to be using Crypto Stackers Easy Lines to help pick out which ones are the best buys today. You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up, everyone? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at the top five most undervalued altcoins right now using artificial intelligence and machine learning looking at all the coins out there these are the best picks today and we're going to be using this awesome easy line system to help pick out the best buys today before we get into it guys make sure to like subscribe click the notification bell also come join us over on twitter where we share some of the best charts in bitcoin and cryptocurrencies every single day like this one right here from TechDiff. Also, guys, smash that like button. Let's get to a thousand likes. It helps out so gosh darn much. Now, today, markets still in fear. We're going sideways. $40,000 Bitcoin. So fearful if you've only been in the market for like a year or two. Otherwise, it's like, ah, yawn. But I feel you guys who have been in it for less than a couple years because it hurts. But that hurt helps for later on when Bitcoin's 400,000 or 4 million or whatever it is. And other people are like, but why? If I knew it was going to go up, of course I would have bought it. And you're like, yeah, well, of course. So that being said, the market today, sideways, nothing happened. And Bitcoin at 4381, Ethereum at $3,040, BNB at 414, XRP at 78 cents, Solana at $102, Cardano at 94 cents. Terra Luna at $81 and Avalanche at $77. And if you want to know the top coins today to outpace just holding Bitcoin alone, now take note, these are on a daily time frame. The ones we're taking a look at later are on a monthly time frame. But the top coins today on Gate.io, which are up a thousand percent above just holding Bitcoin alone, are Kyber Network Crystal, OEC Token, Maple, Shiba Inu, and Tether Gold. And if you want to check this out for yourself, add some low caps for higher risk, but potentially much higher reward. There is a discounted link down in the description. And while you're down there, check out Celsius, because now if you add cryptocurrencies to your account to be held with Celsius, you can earn up to $5,000 in free rewards on select coins or up to $2,000 on all cryptocurrencies. So definitely check out that link down in the description. Now, today's video, we're talking about this because if we take a look at Bitcoin since 2015, which has been pretty much in the same nice bullish trajectory since 2015, we can see that of all the months, April and May are two of the very best months out there. Now, the best month is October, but the second best is April, third best is December, fourth best is May. And basically, generally, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies see most of their gains here before May because... The rhyme goes, sell in May, go away, and then come back to Rocktober. So if we're going to see gains, likely, now history doesn't repeat itself and past performance can't predict future success, but statistically, we should see them in April and May. So we're halfway through April. There's still 45 days left in April and May. So potentially we could see some big gains. Not only that, but if we take a look at this chart here from TechDev, he says the altcoin market is retesting the weekly EMA ribbon after four years of near identical wave structure 2014 to 2016. Three other points suggest a similar macro setup. So you can see there's kind of this double bottomed cup right here. And then we find support on top of that cup level right here before it takes off. That happened back here in 2017 with an explosive altcoin market. Now we have the double bottomed cup set up. We have support on top of the previous all time high of that cup right now getting set up for potentially explosive gains. Not only that, but finding support on top of the weekly EMA ribbon. So both of those things suggesting that, hey, we could have an explosive alt season coming up. Well, that being said, wouldn't it make sense to find the most undervalued altcoins? I thought so too. That's why I put this video together. Now, do I go look at every single coin? No, I only have 24 hours in a day, but I use robots and computers to do that stuff for me. It's called machine learning and artificial intelligence. And thanks to token metrics, I can do it. And if you want to do it too, there is a discounted link down in the description. But basically, we go to token metrics, we go to analytics, and we go to ratings. Now, when you do this, it'll rate every coin according to a TM grade. This is a numerical grade that tells you how good or bad a coin is. 
And because I want to find the most long-term undervalued coins, I selected monthly here. So this tells me the ones that are the most undervalued. And if we take a look at them, there's a handful of them here. We're actually going to take a look at them one by one to figure out which ones are absolutely the best buys today of these ones that have the green TM grade saying, hey, it's pretty, pretty darn good. So the first one would be Monero. Now, if we see Monero here, this is using crypto stackers easy lines. Now, this is something that I like to use because it tells me is now a good time to buy or maybe should I wait? This is like the no FOMO indicator, basically, because if it's in this red area, that's FOMO territory. If it's in this green area, that's when nobody's interested in it. And that is a great buy opportunity. So if you want to check that out, there is a link down in the description. This is from Crypto Stackers YouTube channel. You could check out Forrest. He has some of the best, most informative videos. He used to be an analyst for token metrics. He's now doing this stuff on his own, but he is turning out amazing content and this indicator alone is well worth it. So check that out down in the description. Now, if we take a look at Monero, we can see that Monero was in the overbought territory in the red. It dropped back down and actually found support on this dotted green easy line before going back up. Again, finding support on this dotted green easy line, but it has come up pretty darn close to this sell line, the red dotted line. So that being said, this one I would say, mm, maybe hold off a little bit because we have a few other coins here in the green that we should definitely take a look at as well. So the next one would be near protocol. We can see with these easy lines, it pretty much found support on this dark green easy line, broke all the way up. So had you been buying in this green area, you could have sold in this red area and pretty much went from $2 all the way up to, what was that, like $15? You could have seven extra investment just by using this alone. And it hung around the red overbought area before it dropped back down, found support on this green easy line right now, and then has taken off. Look at that, found resistance on the red easy line. So right now, near protocol, I would say potentially a little bit overbought. Might want to wait on this one, even though it's under uh, valued, may just want to wait temporarily if you're more of a short-term investor or trader. Next one, DeFi chain. We're taking a look at this one. Now, this one we can see here, it basically found support in the green area, found resistance in the red area. Right now, it's pretty much in the center, closer to the red. So, DeFi chain, I would say wait. So, so far, we've seen a few of them, Monero, Near Protocol, DeFi chain. I would say wait on those. But let's take a look at what, some ones that look a little bit better. So, we have Compound right here. Now, Compound we had some resistance in the red bands, and then we found support in the green bands. And again, finding support in these green bands right here, it actually broke through from the solid green line, found support on the dotted green line. And right now, compound, after finding support there, is pretty close to the green easy line. So me personally, I would say, hey, yeah, this is probably a good one because if we take a look, price right now at about $150, the red easy lines aren't until about $250, so you might be able to make a little bit of money on that trade if it continues to go up. This does, to me, look a little bit bullish because it did find some support there on this dotted green easy line before bouncing back up. Which brings us to the next one, and the last one, because we're only talking about five today, Kusama. Now, Kusama, we see here, it was in the red easy bands, broke back down, found support on the green easy bands, resistance in the red, broke back down, found support in the green, and again, just like Compound, has actually bounced off of this dotted green easy line, finding support there, potentially setting up for higher gains. Now, right now, the price is at about $173, and the red easy lines is roughly $320. So again, you might almost double your trade on this one. So that is all there is today for the top five altcoins using artificial intelligence, machine learning, and easy lines to make trading. So gosh darn easy. You'll definitely want to check them out down in the description. We got token metrics, we got crypto stackers, and don't forget about that free money over on Celsius. So that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.